Mars has been home to many rovers from Earth by now, all of which have given us a deeper understanding of the red planet. The first rover that ever landed on Mars was NASA's Pathfinder in 1997, which could only travel a mere 300 meters before all communication was cut. After that, we had NASA's Pathfinder, which survived on the planet for 15 long years before an incredible dust storm engulfed the planet and caused its batteries to give out. Its last words were, my battery is low and it's getting dark, words which made everyone shed a tear for our beloved rover. Since then, NASA has developed and deployed a lot more advanced rovers to look at the red planet. So, let's take a look at some of the best discoveries that these rovers have made right now. Welcome to Reality Expanded. Make sure to click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so that you never miss out on any of our new videos. Let's get into the video. Water on Mars one of NASA's goals, specifically for their Curiosity rover, is to investigate the Gale Crater in order to determine whether or not life ever existed on Mars. Since it's believed that life on Mars was more probable in the planet's distant past, when its atmosphere was thicker and there was more liquid water. The rover was examining the rocks in that specific location that originated about 3.5 billion years ago. Curiosity wasn't meant to find life, but rather to find out whether the requirements for life existed on Mars in the past and that it did. The rover discovered evidence of an old lake in a location we named Yellowknife Bay. All the elements necessary for life were there, including carbon, nitrogen, sulfur, and phosphorus. Perhaps most significantly, exploration revealed the presence of possible energy sources for microorganisms, so there was a high likelihood that microbial life existed in this lake around 3.5 billion years. What happened to it, though, is still a mystery. Lava on Mars this discovery was made by the Perseverance rover. You see, this rover landed on a very famous crater on Mars, the Jezero Crater. We know from previous expeditions that this crater had water in it long, long ago. But what Perseverance found on this crater was even more interesting. The rocks within this crater were igneous as if they had formed from a volcano. But did the rocks originate from molten magma that cooled to solidify? Or were they sedimentary in nature made up of minerals that the long ago river had deposited in the lake? The latest findings confirm that lava is used to create at least some of the crater's surface. An expert on the Perseverance project said, I was beginning to despair that we would never find the answer, but then our pixel instrument got a good look at the abraded patch of a rock from the area nicknamed South Sita, and it all became clear. The crystals within the rock provided the smoking gun. But how exactly did the rover come to this conclusion? Well, Perseverance has used a laser-based instrument to determine the composition of these rocks. Its robotic arm features a tiny laser with which it chipped away at boulders. That is, used to melt tiny samples of rock so that its composition may be analyzed. Later, additional tools analyze the finely honed surfaces in great detail to figure out the material the presence of organic matter in inorganic materials. The identification of organic chemicals in inorganic materials like rocks and dust is another fascinating finding made by Perseverance. The Sherlock, scanning habitable environments with ramen and luminescence for organics and chemicals equipment aboard the Perseverance, was used to identify the substances. The discovery of organics is exciting since they are essential for all forms of life. However, organics may be produced by both biological and non-biological processes. But it still remains an open question for science whether or not these organic substances came from species that were once alive. It's also not the first time Martian organics have been discovered. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory's Sherlock Principal Investigator, Luther Beagle, says, Curiosity also discovered organics at its landing site within Gale Crater. What Sherlock adds to the story is its capability to map the spatial distribution of organics inside rocks and relate those organics to minerals found there. This helps us to understand the environment in which the organics formed. More analysis needs to be done to determine the method of production for the identified organics. Even if these organic materials aren't the remains of microorganisms, they nonetheless serve as evidence that biosignatures or chemical or fossil clues of once living creatures may be retained. As Beagle put it, this is a question that may not be solved until the samples are returned to Earth. 
but the preservation of this organic matter is very exciting. When these samples are returned to Earth, they will be a source of scientific inquiry and discovery for many years. So there you have it guys, three of the most fascinating discoveries made on Mars thus far. Which one did you like the most? Do let us know in the comments below. Please do like the video, hit the subscribe and bell button and share with your friends and family. Until the next video, stay safe friends, Reality Expanded out.